I came to Glasgow in um, June because I was suffering from depression and isolation in London and I came to be near my son and then um, luckily I found this place <laughs> which which is I've said before really opened a doorway for me it, it was a lifesaver hello my name's Charlotte Craig and this is a craft cafe an ongoing community arts project coordinated by Impact Arts for use of older people of Glasgow, Scotland, based in the heart of one of the city's most fascinating historical areas, Govan. Running from Tuesday to Thursday, we provide local older people with access to a huge range of creative materials, from paints to sewing machines to digital photography, all led by experienced and talented staff. We run intergenerational projects with local schools and nurseries collaborate with other charities based in Glasgow and put on exhibitions across the country. Our aim at Craft Café Govern is to build a community for older people through the arts, enhancing the quality of life. Some members come in just for tea, biscuit and a blether, while others may want to improve their crafting skills. It is a relaxed and encouraging environment, welcoming to members old and new. As soon as you come in the door, you feel as though you're part of a kind of, uh, not quite a family maybe, but you know, you're certainly made very welcome. People talk to you, people take an interest in you, people compliment you on your work, and it's all really a very positive experience. I've been, I've been coming to the Craft Cafe for quite a long time, quite enjoying it, I've learned new things. Without the Craft Cafe, I don't know where I'd be. I advise other people to come because it's a good wee place. I'd be lost without it. Mm. This, this club in the way, I don't know where it'd be. Sadly, isolation is a real issue for many of today's elderly in our communities. Leaving the workforce can take away a sense of routine and purpose. Physical fitness may deteriorate, robbing us of our usual interests and activities. And family are often too busy or far away to provide the support they would hope. Many older people experience a great deal of loss the loss of loved ones, the loss of independence and of identity. The outside world can become overwhelming and the resolve to lock ourselves inside our homes can become too great. The Craft Cafe challenges and tackles these issues head on. Without projects like the Craft Cafe Govern, we are putting the health and well-being of older people at risk. Instead, we celebrate these people and what they can achieve in later life. The members of the Craft Cafe can help make Glasgow one of the most vibrant, friendly and creative cities out there. We at Impact Arts believe art changes lives and we want to keep Govan crafting. I enjoy it and I enjoy it because there's young ones in here as well and I enjoy listening to the young ones patter as well as enjoying painting. I like painting and if it wasn't for this to keep me going I don't know where it'd be. Well that's what I was just going to say, being able to walk in here and mix with other people and most, no most, everybody's been very friendly and encouraging if you're doing anything I, if you're stuck somebody's always there to help you unfortunately our funding room has changed this financial year leaving the craft cafe govern at risk of closure if we raise our target then the craft cafe govern can continue providing our crucial service for another year continue to culturally enrich the area of govern and glasgow continue to provide a support network for our members continue to create artwork and make friendships that will last forever. With your help, we can keep Govan crafting. Next question. Uh, how would you feel if this, uh, the funding campaign, the crowdfunding campaign, was successful? Successful? Yeah. Well, I think like everybody else, we just have a sort of communal whoop of joy and a jump in the air. Uh, <laughs> those of us who are able to do that. Um, yeah, I think we'd be extremely glad. It would be less stressful because you're, you're kind of looking over your shoulder in a way, wondering, you know, when is it going to stop? And if it's going to stop, what's going to happen to people who are effectively cut adrift from something that's, that's provided them with an anchor to, not the outside world, because we all do that, but, you know, an, an anchor to just taking part in community life. <laughs>